This morning, a Southwest Miami-Dade SWAT situation turns deadly after a mother says her son began acting erratically. When police arrived, that man opened fire before barricading himself inside. By the time all of this was over, one police officer was injured and that suspect was dead. CBS4's Amber Diaz is live from Miami-Dade Police Headquarters with more. Amber. Yes, good morning to you both. The negotiation tactics were told by investigators simply did not work. Investigators say police found the suspect dead inside a closet. Late Sunday night, investigators were still collecting evidence at a southwest Miami-Dade apartment complex after a Miami-Dade police-involved shooting. Detectives were still on scene well after SWAT was there. Their focus was on the building where Sarah Finley lives. I heard a yelp at the gate, basically stating that a police officer was coming in. I didn't see which way they go. I did hear a commotion. This neighbor lives at apartments at Waterford Point near the Turnpike and Southwest 88th Street. All the neighbors are basically being told to stay inside or go out. Investigators say a mom called police on her son, 38 year old Richard Cabrera. She told police he was on some type of drug and he was violent. The mom was uh, taken out of the apartment for her safety while our officers spent a, a good amount of time trying to negotiate with him to calm down. Police say Cabrera's erratic behavior didn't change. She was erratic while doing the conversation. The subject produced a firearm and fired at our officers. Our officers returned fire. During that exchange, investigators say an officer was grazed by a bullet. He was hurt in the torso and treated on scene. At the same time, police stayed nearby since they say the woman's son barricaded himself. Sometime after that, they discovered Cabrera's body in the closet. It's still unclear if he took his own life. And as for Finley, she is thinking about her neighbor even though they don't know each other. It's scary. Um, you don't want this to happen to anybody, let alone as a mom, your instincts come in, you want to protect your child. And police haven't said if Cabrera had a violent past. The investigation, of course, is ongoing. In Miami-Dade, Amber Diaz, CBS4, this morning.